One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother sent her to her grandmother's, who was ill, to give her a basket of bread, chocolate, and sweets. Her mother told her not to talk to strangers. On the way, she met the wolf, and the wolf told her, "Hey, Little Red Riding Hood." Where are you heading to in such a hurry, my pretty girl? Red Riding Hood replied that she was going to her grandmother's. The bad wolf said, "I know the shortest way to get there. Let me show you." Red Riding Hood agreed, not aware that the wolf was cheating her. Took the way the wolf pointed. The bad wolf, taking a shortcut, arrived there before the little girl. He entered the house. And swallowed the little girl's granny. Then the little red riding hood arrived and knocked the door. "Who is it?" said the wolf, dressed in grandmother's clothes. "It's me, granny," said the little red riding hood. The wolf opened the door, and when the girl saw her grandmother masqueraded by the wolf, shocked, she said. Grandma, what happened to you? Such big eyes you have! Oh, they're for me to see you better," said the false granny. But, Grandma, such big ears you have," said the girl who was getting a little bit suspicious. Oh, they're for hearing you better," said the cheeky wolf. And what a huge nose you have! It is to smell you better, and how big mouth you have! It is to eat you easier. Red Riding Hood started running around the house. Just at this time, a hunter who was passing by heard the screams, came with his gun, and struck down the big black wolf. The hunter dropped a knife and cut the belly of the wolf. Finding Red Riding Hood's grandmother inside, he pulled the poor lady out and filled his belly with stones and suet. The wolf woke up and ran to the river to drink water. As he approached the riverside, his belly was so heavy that he fell into the water and drowned. Red Riding Hood learned the lesson and never again disobeyed his mother's words. And they all lived happily ever after.